Hello, hi, my name is Anita. I'm the jewelry and accessory designer for a UK based brand, Anita Kwanza London. So today I want to go on a creative journey with you. I will love, I'll be delighted to share with you how you can make your very own statement pair of earrings. This hematite and agate earrings um, is a beautiful pair, very lightweight drop earrings that you can wear with anything. You can wear it with plain t-shirt and jeans, or you can wear it with um, chunky knits, with some um, jeans or trousers or any dress or anything, any outfit of your choice. Um, like I said, you can dress it casually, you can dress it up. It's a beautiful pair, especially for this autumnal season. Um, so uh, without further ado, I'm going to share with you how to make this beautiful pair of drop earrings. So I'm going to share with you the tools that we'll be needing for this project. We'll be needing a round nose plier. We'll be also needing um, side cutters. I'll be needing my flat nose pliers. I'll be needing my crimping tool. I'll also be using a pair of scissors, two bead stoppers, a ruler, a super glue or if you have a whole glue or E6000 glue, um, you can use that. For stringing, we'll be using um, a, um, a tiger tail and then we'll also be using either cotton thread of your choice or silk thread, okay? And then for the findings, we'll be need, we're using two long ball ear wires, okay? And then also two of the two mm um, jump rings and then two four mm jump rings and then ten of the of two mm cream tubes and then ten um, cream covers and then for the beads we'll be using also 20 of the four by three mm amber faceted rondel crystal glass beads and then we'll be using also four six mm um, four mm six mm round glass blade beads. Also be using six six mm twelve mm by six mm agate rice drum drum gemstones. And I'll be using two twelve mm round glass beads. And then I'll also be using fourteen gold plated hematite gemstones as well. Okay. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead. And make it start so I'm just gonna move this all out of the way so that we can start creating so what I did initially I've cut myself you cut yourself about 30 centimeters of your um, tiger tail so which I have done here and you also cut yourself about let's say about 11 centimeters of the second tiger tail okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and thread onto my shorter length tiger tail a crimp tube okay so a crimp tube insert that through the tiger tail I'm gonna take my round nose plier just get that one now get my round nose plier I'm gonna insert the shorter part of my tiger tail through my crimp tube okay making sure that the wires are not crossed together, making sure that they're both straight and next to each other, okay? So I'm just gonna use my finger, I'm gonna pull my crimp tube. I want a smaller loop, I don't want a very massive loop, so I'm happy with the loop, so I'm gonna go ahead and flatten my crimp with my flat nose plier. I'm gonna take my crimp cover, place my flattened crimp in between my cream cover, I'm gonna pinch a little bit with my flat nose plier. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use my cream part, crimping tool, and I'm gonna go ahead and mold it, shape it round. On the crimping tool, you'll find that there's an urged part, there's an urged part, a curved part on the tool. So that's what I'm gonna to use to finish rounding up my crimp tube, cream cover. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead just place it there, just run it up. Essentially, what you're trying to do is create like a, a, a bead-like shape. Um, and it gives it a lovely finishing 
to when you use the cream cover it gives it a beautiful finishing to any piece of jewelry that you're making whether it's a bracelet or a necklace or in this case earrings okay so I'm just gonna make sure I keep going around carefully going around making sure that both ends of my crimp cover are completely closed okay just gently go around so you see how I'm just gently going around crimp it, moving it slowly making sure that this loop is in the middle okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off yeah I'm happy with it is a round shape all my gap, gaps are closed I'm happy with it so it's looking like a crimp it seems looking like a round bead okay I'm gonna go ahead and thread onto my tiger tail three of my of my four mm um, my small um sorry my smaller beads crystal glass beads okay so I'm making sure that they're all fit there okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and look at my hematites so my hematites comes in different lengths um, by the way this this whole earrings comes as a kit so everything to make the earrings comes in the kit um, including the hematites and the um, the drum every essentially everything that we're using today so I'm looking through my my hematites I'm gonna make sure I want to make sure that I'm using the longest one okay so which is this one here okay so I'm gonna take that sure yes this one here so I'm gonna pass that through my tiger tail like so and I'm gonna go ahead and thread on back onto the other side of my jump my tiger tail sorry with my three beads okay so it looks like that and I'm gonna thread onto my tiger tail my crimp tube I'm gonna go ahead and take this shorter part of my tiger tail insert it back into the tube bit to cream tube through a couple of beads and then I'm gonna pull it up like that I'm gonna take my round nose plier hold my round nose plier like that and then pull this wire to shorten the tiger tail I can use my flat nose plier as well just shorten it like so all right again I want to create a smaller loop nothing too big so you can see I'm placing it here on this part of my smaller part of my the nose of my wire okay I'm gonna go ahead and flatten my crimp and then I'll trim my crimp this part this part here this wire here no the flat part of my my plier again as I cut against my bead I'm gonna trim that off so I'm left with something like this again I'm gonna now cover my crimp tube with my crimp cover placing the crimp cover the crimp tube in between the crimp cover close it gently with my flat nose plier and I'm gonna now go ahead and round it off with my crimping tool okay so once I do that making sure all my wires are in the middle and then go ahead and just finish it off like so okay once you're happy with it, so in this case, I'm very, very meticulous about things. So I have to make sure that all the wires are closed. Okay, I'm happy with the way it looks. Are you happy, Anita, with the way it looks? Yes, I am. But there's a little bit here that I need to work on slightly. Okay, yeah, I'm happy now. So when you're done, it looks something like this, okay? And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab my longer tiger tail, which is my 30 centimeters tiger tail, and I'm going to um, place a crimp onto my tiger tail, okay? And then making sure that both of them are of the same length, I'm going to go place my, and then place my, my crimp onto my tiger tail. I'm going to flatten my crimp like that, okay? So you can see the flattened crimp. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to go ahead and thread onto my crimped part of my wire, my drum, my agate drum, okay? 
and then as I'm doing that before I continue further I'm gonna go ahead and cover my crimp with my crimp cover again repeating what we've done before placing the crimp flattened crimp in between the crimp cover and then I'm gonna now close it slightly with my flat nose plier and I'm gonna finish off with my crimp stopper okay just go around finish it off just round it off a bit okay yeah happy with it it's a nice round ball shape that's fine so I'm gonna put my as you can see there it has like a it looks like a, a gold bead on top of my agate so I'm gonna go ahead and now again looking at my um, my hematites so we need that size here so we need it to be there's different sizes different lengths so make sure that yep so this length here and then you've got a shorter length which is about this size this size here I'm going to make sure that all my lengths are the same because I'll be needing both this side and then this side here and then finish off with those sizes that one and then this size let me see measure it against this side make sure I have the same length no this line is slightly bigger maybe it's this size let's try this size um okay that's the size we need so i'm just gonna play that to one side like that okay so we've got this size like that okay then i'm going to go ahead and thread my shorter part this first part like so all right and then thread the longer part like that okay making sure that the flatter part of your hematite is like is facing the back okay and then now take the other part of the hematite. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my looped pendant, you know, this pendant here, take the looped part, insert my tiger tail through the looped end, one of the looped ends, and I'm going to thread my tiger tail through my round bead, my 12mm round bead. I'm going to take my tiger tail again and reinsert it through the looped opposite looped end of the pendant this pendant here okay all right and I'm going to repeat again the same thing threading my hematite again the flat part of the hematite will be at the back all right so once I've done that I'm gonna insert again my one of my drum bead agates all right Okay, so once I've done that, if I'm happy with it, that's the way it should look. All right, I'm gonna thread onto my tiger tail, my crimp tube. All right, be careful here as well because obviously the hole on the the hole on the um, on the ends of the agate is a bit big. So if you know if you're not careful, the crimp tube will go slide right through. So I'm just gonna use my hand like so. Hold on to the agate and I'm just going to go ahead and flatten my crimp like that, okay? So I'm quite happy the way it looks at the moment. I'm going to take my crimp cover. I'm going to now again do what we've done before. Place the crimped part of my, the crimped, the flattened crimp inside the crimp cover. Okay, I'm gonna again pinch it close a little bit with my flat nose plier, and I'm gonna go ahead and now round it off with my crimping tool, just to get that nice round bead-like shape that we need. Okay, all right, so I'm looking around, making sure I'm happy with the way it looks. So when I'm placing, I'm placing, you can see I'm placing the crimp in between the first, you know, the, the curved part of the crimping tool, not this part. Just the curved part so it hugs the crimp the crimp cover to create the loop okay 
So as you can see, it looks like that once we're done. And I'm gonna get both of my wires, making sure that they're both the same length. At this moment, they're not, because obviously I need to cut trim this part here. Always save wires, I always save my little bits because I always use it for future projects. Then what I'm going to do is with both wires the same length, I'm gonna thread onto my wire my crimp tube, okay? Making sure that the wires are not crossing or overlapping each other, making sure that they're very aligned next to each other. Okay, so once I've done that, pull this wire there as well, pull this one, because my crimp tube, oh, crimp tube needs to sit in the middle. So you just need to adjust both wires, making sure, okay, pull that in here. Okay, you see, the crimp tube needs to be in the middle like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my flat nose plier. I'm gonna flatten my crimp, okay? Let me flatten it again. And then what I'm gonna do again, we're gonna cover that part. So I'm gonna use my crimp cover. Okay, so this one's that all. Okay, so get my crimp cover. Place the crimped part of my tiger tail through the crimp, crimp cover. Again, we're gonna hide the crimp. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna close it a little bit with my flat nose plier. And I'm gonna use my, my, my crimping tool. I'm gonna again mold it around so that I'll get that nice round bead shape, okay? So once we've done that, we have, it looks like that, okay? As you can see, all right? Then what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna now thread onto one side of my ply, one side of, side of my tiger tail with my, so it was just supposed to split the wires like that, okay? So I'll grab one, one side of my tiger tail I'm gonna put my smaller bead, which is my two my two mm bead, my three mm sorry, um, round faceted crystal glade beads. I'm gonna put the other smaller bead again, which is the same crystal glass bead, smaller. So it looks like that. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my agate. I'm gonna put it through. Like so. I'm gonna take my bead stopper and then I'm going to hold it there, okay? Let me just push it down like so. And I'm taking the other part of the wire and I'm gonna put like my bead again, repeating what I did on the opposite side, okay? The smaller bead, the bigger bead, the, not the bigger, it's like four mm in size. And then the smaller bead again and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my crimp stopper up my, my bead stopper out I'm gonna take this part this side of my tiger tail I'm gonna insert it through the agate drum and I'm gonna pull so when I pull it they look like that okay so it looks like that then I'm gonna pass insert both wires through my bead cone glass crystal glass beads like that okay and then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my crimp tube I'm gonna insert both wires again not overlapping each other both wires next to each other all through my crimp my, my tiger tail okay just above my beacon bead and then I'm gonna go ahead and take both ends of my tiger tail I'm gonna reinsert it back through the crimp tube okay it can only fit depending on the size of the crimp tube you use and I'm using 2 mm in size crimp tube here crimp for my earrings um, it wouldn't fit anything longer than that more than like it wouldn't fit anything more than that uh, I'm using two is fine but if I was to use three or four, it wouldn't fit. It's gonna be a bit of a struggle. So you might have to go a size upper if you wanna insert more wires through the crimp. So you might have to go an upper size, but in this case, two mm is fine for the two. So I'm just gonna insert both like that. Okay, bear with me, it does fit. Just I have to, okay. 
pass it through the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I've done the first one. I'm gonna make sure that it's not because I really don't want my wires to overlap, you see, because it does fit, I promise you. Um just a bit fiddly at the moment. Okay. So once I've gone to push that, so I'm pushing that through. All right, so yeah. Okay, so you can see my, I pushed it through here. So I'm just gonna take my round nose plier, hold on to it like that. And I'm just gonna pull slightly the shorter, the end, the tail end of my tiger tail, okay? Pull it slightly like that. I'm gonna use my finger and just pull the tiger, no, the crimp tube up a bit. And then you see the shorter tail of my tiger tail. I'm gonna insert it back through the beacon. I find it better to use my hand to do this than to use the plier. But some people, if you wish to use plier, you can as well. So I'm just going to pass that through, making sure that my wires are coming out from there, okay? And then once I pull it out, okay, making sure that I don't lose my loop because I haven't flattened my, my crimp yet. So I'm just going to make sure that both of my loops are the same size, okay? Okay, so I see here. So I'm just going to use my flat nose plier. I'm going to hold on to the tail end of my tiger tail. I'm going to now pull to adjust, sorry, pull to adjust my loop, okay? Okay, here. I need to keep pulling because one side is, yeah, so I just pull the other side. So hold both wires and then I'm pulling. I want a smaller loop. I don't want any bigger loop, okay? So I'm just going to continue pulling adjust my bead again and then hold on to my tiger tail and then pull all right okay so once i'm happy with it i'm just gonna pull my crimp tube again okay let's make sure that we pull these wires just pull it up slowly fine okay and then I'll pull my crimp tube down. Mm -hmm. Just adjust it a bit. Because the thing is, I want my this part here not to be too wonky. So that's why it matters that I adjust everything here. Okay. So just pull, pull. So as you're pulling, make sure that you see I don't want that I want this to be in like that okay all right that's fine it's looking okay I use my finger to just pull it slightly okay that's better and then what I'm gonna go ahead and do okay making sure this is fine aha uh -huh. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten my crimp so pull it slightly again I want both of my loops to be the same size because at the moment sometimes if you look at it you might find one loop of the tiger tail is higher than the other one so I just want it this is the perfect size that I want as you can see this is the size I want so I'm gonna go ahead and use my flat nose plier I'm gonna flatten the crimp okay and then this part here I'm gonna trim that off with my with the flat part of my side cutters against my bead be careful you don't trim your main part of your wire and then what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna push that in like so so I'm gonna take my jump ring so open up my smaller jump ring which is my 2.5 mm jump rings so I'm just gonna twist it to open slightly and I'm gonna place that through my looped end of my tiger tail and I'm going to close it twist it back to close okay all right 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my cream paint, my cream cover. I'm gonna high place my cream cover, just my crimped area, my crimped end in between my cream cover because we wanna hide. We want to hide that cream tube okay I mean it's up to you. you can leave the cream tube showing but I like my earrings to have like a finished it's a personal preference really so I like mine to kind of still have that kind of um, nice finishing so I'm gonna go ahead and pinch a little bit close and I'm gonna round up round off with my my crimping tool okay so go around making sure I don't flatten my jump ring and crack my beads. So you just have to bear with that in mind when you're gradually closing your crimp cover, okay? All right, so I've got that. I'm happy with the way it looks. It's a nice rounded, because you just have to just gently press it, not too not too much because if you put too much force on it then what happens is it might over it might end up kind of um, scratching your cream cover or you might squash it too much and it's not going to look like that round ball shape that you're aiming for because it needs to be like a round ball shape like a tube like a bead really okay so once i'm happy with it then what I'm going to go ahead and do is and I'm going to open up the other, the bigger jump ring, which is the four, the, um, my four mm jump ring. I'm going to insert, oh, that's open already. So I'm just going to insert that through my looped end. And then this is the back of my neck, my, my earrings. So, so I have to bear that in mind when I'm placing my, um, my ear wire. So I'm going to place that through here like so. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and now close up my jump ring. Okay, so I'm just twisting the jump ring to close. So twist. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry. It's like both of my... Okay. Yeah, so both ends of my jump rings are closed, making sure that nothing, there's no gap to for it to slip off okay so once i'm done it looks like that so let me just move all my pliers out of the way so um i'm gonna get my cotton thread okay i'm just gonna cut some cotton thread then what i'm going to do is i'm gonna you see just above the the drum bead there just above the drum bead and underneath the two smaller cream covers that will um, cut with um, with cover to look like a bead. Well, in this case, let's call it the two gold beads because they look like beads now. So I'm just gonna go ahead using my thread, and I'm gonna pass it from the back, and I'm gonna wrap it just over on top of the drum bead, and then opposite the other drum bead like that. Pull, just a dot. Maybe make wrap it three times. Pull slightly, and then this is the third one. Okay. As you're pulling, don't pull too much, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and make a knot at the back of my earring. So I can make a knot. I like to make a double knot, okay? And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to trim it off slightly. Just trim it off there. And I'm gonna take my glue, you know, in this case you can use Uhu glue or you can use super glue. I'm using super glue, just dabbing that area that I've just trimmed off. Just I put a little bit of super glue there just to seal those that end so it wouldn't unravel. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So you've got the cream there. Alright. And then whilst I'm leaving that to dry, I'm gonna get another cotton thread. And then what I'm going to do is just above. The two beads here, the two crystal beads here. You see the two beads here, just um, underneath the agate drum. So I'm just gonna wrap it. Again, pass it from the back to the front. Just wrapping it like so, just a few times. Okay. Maybe three times again. 
not more than that. And I'm gonna make a knot from the back. Just um, when you're tightening it, not tighten it too much. Just make another knot in the back. Okay, and I'm gonna now trim off those threads. So depending on the length of your thread, always, again, I always save my threads for future projects. So you see this longer one here, I'm gonna save that because that will come in handy again. I never throw anything away. Well, I do, but well, I'll try to give things a new lease of life and I'm gonna dab again my super glue there. All right, so once we've done, we'll leave that to dry, so that will dry. So you do housekeeping, you go around checking all your earrings. So you just adjust everything making sure that everything is the way it's supposed to look. So once you're done, your earrings looks like this. You're done. That's it. It looks like that. Look at that. How amazing is that? So once you've done one side of it, you can go ahead. Let me move all these things out of the way. and repeat exactly the same technique we did for this side. So I'm just going to straighten it out so that I can best present it so that you can see for yourself. <laughs> okay, so once you've done your earrings, it looks like that, all right? It looks like that. And then once you've done the second one, the second one should look something like this as well. Look at that. How amazing does this look? So you've got your beautiful pair of earrings and guess what once you're done you can take yourself out on a date because you deserve it you deserve it so with this as well it's perfect for the autumnal season and basically i mean i can wear this even all seasons not just for autumn but again with this like i said you mm -hmm. obviously you can wear this with however you want to wear it um it's getting a little bit chilly now so this would be lovely when you put it like a chunk in it cardigan or a jumper you know, now, um, you can wear with your dread over a dress, you know, uh, with can be best nice with a dress, and then cardigan, and then maybe um, cardigan wrapped with a belt, and then maybe one strand necklace or a double strand necklace. Or in my case, I love my big statement necklaces, I can have that big and then have my earrings. But you can style it, you can just imagine where we're going with this. Um, you know what you have in your wardrobe, you know what's gonna go best with it. But this is how it looks, the completed um, project looks. This all comes as a kit form. So everything to make these earrings comes in a kit. So you don't have to worry yourself about getting the, the right shaped hematides, hematides, gemstones, or the um, the barrel, the, the rice agates, um, um, beads, gemstones, everything you need is in one kit. And it will be delivered to you. Um, you go on the website, you get it. Uh, which is at um, www.anitafansalondon.com you get your kit there and it gets delivered to you and guess what you make your fabulous pair of earrings yes but anyway thank you so much for going on this amazing creative journey with me it's such a joy sharing another creative project with you and i look forward to seeing your beautiful project as well um if you like this video wherever you're watching it whether on youtube please do not forget to comment to like to subscribe i look forward to reading your comments thank you so much and have the most amazing day take care bye